The annual migration of wildlife through the Serengeti is one of the great spectacles of the natural world. In Kenya, the migration runs across Maasai communal lands. Recent reforms mean that individual Maasai can now sell their land and the temptation to do deals with commercial farms and hotel chains is huge. But this commercial development is threatening both Maasai traditions and the Great Migration itself. Dixon Cayello is a leading figure in a groundbreaking project that aims to conserve communal Maasai land. When I see a fence like this, I, I feel very bad. Uh, I feel that uh, um, the land is being enclosed and fragmented. The Serengeti Mara wild beast migration is the last large mammal migration on Earth. And if areas such as these ones are fenced and their movements is curtailed, that might mean the end of this migration. Dixon helped set up the Naboisho Conservancy, a wildlife reserve of 20,000 hectares, owned by about 500 Maasai families. It's run by a team of Maasai whose challenge is to balance the needs of local people, the wildlife and the tourists. Set up in 2010, the Conservancy is now at a critical point. It is trying to secure a corridor of land to connect with the Maasai Mara National Reserve. This additional corridor will save the Great Migration Route. In a few days' time, Dixon will hold a meeting that will decide if the corridor plan can go ahead. And he must persuade the landowners from that area to join the Conservancy. Today, he's talking to one of the community's most influential leaders, James Barber. Hey, how are you? Fine, fine, thank you. Yeah, so nice are you. Hey, how are things? Yeah, things are good. Yeah. I remember that Nabosha Conservancy is still very much interested on your, on your land. Right. Um, we think it's a, it's a fantastic land for wildlife and we, we would like you to uh, list your land in the Conservancy, sign up and be a member of the Conservancy. Mm -hmm. Well, I uh, understand so far is that uh, for a full share of 150 acres, you are paying people 13,000, the members. Uh, every month. Every month, 13,800, is it? Yeah. For a businessman like me, money cannot be enough. Actually, the only one way that uh, we can make the consultancy stronger as we go into the future and make it solid is to have every land landowner who has land within the consultancy to join and, and, and sign up. The Conservancy gives landowners around $170 a month for a 60-hectare plot. By dealing with a commercial business, a landowner could get up to 10 times that amount. For a struggling farmer, it's a tempting offer. Land division is only one of many challenges to the Conservancy idea. Naboisho is designed to allow wildlife to flourish, but on the edge of the Conservancy, where the Maasai are allowed to graze their cattle, increased numbers of animals like lions and leopards have brought humans and predators into conflict. It is down to Dominic Sakat, the community liaison officer, to resolve these tensions. Whenever a lion uh, kills a sheep or a goat or a cow, uh, they, they put uh, a sheep carcass and they put uh, uh, the poison on the carcass. When a lion comes and eats the flesh, the poison flesh, it will die. And if the hyena comes and eats the lion, it will also die. So it's just a chain. It is a very great impact and actually it's a great loss to the environment. In two neighbouring villages, there have been recent lion attacks on Maasai cattle and the communities are threatening to take revenge.
Thank you.